Hey Adam, hey Morgan, it's Friday. Sorry I didn't make a video last week. I was grounded because I didn't clean my room, but then I cleaned it. But then I made it messy again, but I didn't get grounded this time, so that was okay. Um, yeah, Morgan, uh, you made your Deathly Hallows review thingy. Uh, what was it? Wednesday? Sorry, <laughs> I forgot my days of the week. Uh, you made yours on Wednesday. Uh, and so, now I'm gonna make mine. Um, I made a, a little list of things I have to do on the back of my summer homework. Okay. Um, you discussed Fred's death scene, or the lack of it. Um, I was upset they didn't have that too, but, um, they filmed it, but Warner Brothers decided not to put it in the film, because they said that it was too sad. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, you know, yeah. Snape can die all he wants. But, you know, Fred... You know, not allowed. Um, I was more sad when Snape died than I was when Fred died. Um, so yeah, that's why it's not in the film. I was upset too. But it is apparently supposed to be one of the first, like, deleted scenes on the uh, Blu-ray DVD release thing. Um, the epilogue, um, I didn't like it. I didn't like it in the book, but I didn't like it more in the film. Like, in the book, at least, like, some stuff happened and everything, but in the book, it was just like, like I mean, in the in the film, nothing happened at all. It was just... They were there, and you saw them, like, you saw their kids, and then they got on the train and left. Like, absolutely nothing came about, nothing happened, they didn't show anything that happened, so, yeah, that made me kind of mad. Um, they should have done more with it. Um, Snape, you dislike Snape, um, but I love Snape, um. I love the way he's portrayed in the book um, and in the films. Um, I love the fact that a character can be so dynamic like him that people just have no idea about him. Um, I just, I, I've always, I've always loved Snape. Um, I just thought it was, yeah, just I, I, he's my favorite character, so you know. Um, I agree with you about how you said that the first movie stayed closest to the book, um, but it's not my favorite film. My favorite film is um, the fifth film, which is funny because it's my least favorite book because I hate Umbridge and it's the longest book and I don't mind long books. But I mind long books when they have a character called Dolores Umbridge in them. Um, yeah. Those kinds of books aren't fun to read. Um, yeah. But my favorite book is the third one. And I think they did alright with the third movie. I don't know. I'll have to reread it. Which is good because, um, I went to Borders today. And, um... Borders is closing. Um, I'm sure you know that if you have a Borders. I don't know if they have Borders in... T I'm sure they do. Um, but, yeah, so I went there and saw their stuff was on sale, so I got all the books. I had never actually gotten them at any time. Um, and I got all the movies. Well, I got one through six on Blu-ray, because it was like a box set, and it was... 40% off, so I got it, and then I get in the car, and I open up one of the books, and I'm about to start reading it, and my mom looks over at me, she's like, what are you doing? Mm. Whoa, phone. Um, and my mom looks over at me, she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm reading the book, I just got the book, I'm gonna read it, and she's like, no you're not, and I was like, why? Because she paid for it all, she bought it all, and she was like, put that back in the bag, and I was like, why? And apparently I'm not allowed to read it, or open them or anything, until Christmas, which is just, oh, 
so agonizing. So, I don't know. I'll just, I'll have to go to the library and get them or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I didn't really actually review the movie that much, I've realized. It was good. That's my review. The movie was good. <laughs> That's the worst review ever. Ah, uh, um, sorry. You basically said everything that I was planning on saying, so I just, yeah, just wrote down whatever you said. And gave my opinions on it. That works, right? Yeah. Has it been ex extremely hot for you? I know there's, like, this heat wave going through the entire country. Um, so yeah, I know it's been really hot in Texas, but Adam, has it been that hot in Canada? Like, do you have this heat wave going through? Yesterday, I was listening to the radio, and, um, it was talking about the, the temperature that it was outside, and it was 97 Fahrenheit was the high, and, um, there was a heat index of 107, which, uh, I haven't wanted to set foot outside in, like, a week. I haven't wanted to do it, and I love being outside. But then just the fact of going outside in that heat, I was just like, no! Um, but, you know, hopefully it'll stop soon. This video makes no sense. This is like the worst video ever. Okay, I'm gonna stop, because it's really long. DFTVA, I'll see you Monday, Adam, and Wednesday, Morgan, all that jazz, you guys know what it is.